What's that? The heck? Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here, and welcome back to One Life, where we've got mo creatures, mo problems. Yes, that's right. I've been gone for so long that some of the pesky animals on this server have evolved into some truly terrifying things. Exhibit A. Oh, there is now an unfriendly lion that roams just outside of my area. And that's not the only thing that can kill me on this server now. We also have ogres. So far, nobody has been the victim of an ogre attack, but it's only a matter of time. Now to celebrate my return to the server, I decided to decorate my house. And all this pink is bringing Prince out of his emo phase. So we're gonna dye his little wings pink. Oh, he's a beautiful prince. So I hope you guys like what I've done with the house. I do want to change this crafting table for this mermaid crafting table instead though. So the first thing we're gonna do is murder some fish and fill this dark void with a cute pink crafting table cause that's creeping me out. Now instead of making a fishing rod and doing fishing like a normal person, I'm gonna fish like a barbarian and I'm gonna kill them with my sword. Whoa, that's a big one. What a catch. Cool. See, this is much faster than fishing with a rod. Okay, we have all the fish in a fraction of the time. Oh, what's this? An angelfish egg? <gasps> I must have killed its mother and it squeezed out an egg in its dying moments. Whoops, now I feel kind of bad. Egg is hatching soon. <gasps> it hatched. I'm gonna call it orphan fish because I killed its mother. Where is it? It's so tiny, I can't see it. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so small. Look at it next to this fish. <laughs> Poor little orphan fish. He's all alone. Oh my gosh, what is that? A horse just flew? Am I seeing things? No, I'm not. That is a bat horse. Now that's cool and all, but kind of scary to know that things can fly in and attack me in the night now. So I'm just gonna cuddle up with my animals and go to sleep. And now we can craft this mermaid crafting table in safety. Right. Easy peasy. Let's fill the void of darkness. It matches almost perfectly. Maybe I should put the furnace in the center. Yes, I love it. I think I need something decorative here. Oh, I know. In this deco craft bench, there is a crown on a pillow and I shall have it for I have crowned myself the unofficial queen of one life. What a productive day. We have already decorated the house and accidentally adopted a fish. And boy, is he growing fast. Look at him, he's already a teenager. Pretty soon he'll be graduating from high school and moving out of here. While it is still daytime, there is something that I wanted to check. I have a horrible suspicion that because my house backs into a swamp, there will be all kinds of horrible creatures in the swamp that want to kill me. So naturally, I'm venturing into the swamp. Okay, there's definitely something in here. Killing chickens. Look at all this chicken debris. It's a crocodile. It's killing chickens. Okay, I know what we have to do. We need to appease the crocodile. Here's my plan. Where are my seeds? Aha. Okay, so my theory is as long as he has chickens to eat, he will not attack me. I'm just gonna breed, breed all the chickens. Okay, we have a lot of chickens now. Hopefully that'll keep him satisfied and he won't come venturing into here looking for a snack. Because if it's a snack he's looking for, it's a snack he will find. Okay, so there appear to be a billion creatures that want to kill me in this world, but there must be one that wants to be friends with me. That is what I shall look for. What is that? That is not a creature. That is a tribe of people doing Fortnite dances. Hello, I come in peace. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ah! They're poisoning me, I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh, they're chasing me! I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry. Get me out of here. Oh, okay, I think I'm safe. Whew, okay, I guess they are not a peaceful tribe. Perhaps some of my people killed some of their people and they harbor some resentment there. Okay, I actually only went down one heart, but I feel like I shaved five years off my actual life. I need to take a nice, relaxing dip in the spring water. And let's try this direction instead. Oh, and I thought plants were scary. Nope, it's people. <gasps> a snail! The friendliest thing I've found so far. What's that? What? The heck? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, oh, <gasps> oh my gosh, she's doing it again. No, what is that? Is it some kind of 
defense mechanism? Why would they do that? I'm gonna go see. Oh no. It won't break! Ah! Now it's just floating. What? Oh no, it's broken. What just happened? This must be somebody's house. And they have a security camera watching me. Who is this paranoid about security that they're willing to blow up their own house to keep people out? I am getting out of here before I self-destruct. Whoa! What is that? Emmanuel? How magnificent! It's adorable! It's a manticore! It's a baby! It looks like Joel's pet! I want one! I can't take that one, so I'm gonna have to find my own. Oh, no, 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 no. Something's dying down here. Oh, it's an ogre. It can die. It can die. That's the last time I tried to save a life. Okay, so we didn't exactly find any friendly pets. In fact, we just found some unfriendly people. But now I'm inspired by Joel's pet manticore to get one of my own. And in order to do that, I need an egg. So we need to kill a bunch of manticores and hope that they release an egg. So yes, I'm going out in the dark. And yes, I'll probably do what? That's a manticore right there. <gasps> it's so strong though. But I have the element of surprise. Oh, there's another one. I have the element of surprise again. There's a manticore. Oh no, two manticores. It's poisoned me. Hey, come back. Come back. Don't you want to attack me? Oh no. No eggs. That's an egg, that's an egg. Oh my gosh, I think I got an egg. Yes, manticore egg. I would have my very own beautiful baby. Let's hatch him. <gasps> what should we call him? We got Prince Bambi baby. I'm gonna call him. Bear. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's so precious. He's so tiny. Oh, he's getting bigger. Okay, now I'm so happy I've got my pet, but I'm not happy about the hostility I'm facing from the crocodile over there in the West and the tribe of crazy people in the South. So I'm gonna take out the threats using a bow and arrow from a distance. Okay, children, I am going off to war. I will be back. If not, Somebody look after my pets for me. There they are. Oh my gosh, he's taunting me. Yeah. Whoa, I killed one. <gasps> Did he drop a mask? Yes, I've killed them all. And now I collect the spoils. Whoa, cool. They dropped their masks. Okay, that was a little bit of a cowardly fight, but I'm victorious, so I don't care. Mask of Rage grants haste. Wow! Does that mean I can mine really fast? Okay, now time to test out this Mask of Haste. So this is normal digging speed, and this is digging speed with the mask. Okay, not a huge difference. Slightly disappointing. However, the masks still look really freaking cool. So let's see if it looks cool on armor stand. Whoa! That is the coolest decoration ever! Wow. My house is perfect. Now I think it's time to take care of my next door neighbor, Mr. Crocodile. There shall be no more chicken murder. Not in my swamp. Oh, look. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought he was sleeping. He wasn't sleeping. He has his mouth open. He's ready for a snack. And it's me. I'm the snack. Where did he go? He's so camouflaged. Okay, we need to kill it before it kills me. Oh my gosh. You know what? This was a mistake. You can continue to live there. I actually enjoy having you as my neighbor. I'm sorry I ever tried to kill you. Wait, hang on a second. I have a bow and arrow. Stupid crocodile doesn't scare me. If only you were sophisticated enough to develop ranged weapons. Whoa, he left behind his skin. Since we're on a roll, we might as well defeat the final boss as well. Get out of here, shoo. He's not shooing. He's running towards me. Oh. Ah. Ah. I made a terrible mistake. Oh, that was kind of close. Okay, not really. Ah, so now this place should be a lot safer. We defeated all the threats. 
but I'm probably going to wake up in the morning and find out that ogres have moved in instead. So that is where I'm going to end this episode of One Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like on this video, and I will see you next time, if I'm still alive by then.